multiplication of integers. Hi there students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to multiply integers whether they are positive, negative, or zero. Let us begin. Before we begin, let's have a quick recap on the parts of multiplication. The first number, or the number that is being multiplied by another number, is the multiplicand. While the second number, or the number that multiplies the multiplicand, is the multiplier. These two are called factors. While the answer is what we call the product or the multiple. Wonderful! Now that you already have reviewed the parts of multiplication, you are now ready to start our lesson. Let's have our first example. Let's try to solve 3 times 4. I know that you already know the answer to this one, which is 12. Yes, you are correct. But let me show you how to solve this using our counters. We have first the multiplicand number 3. So let us put 3 positives. Now we need to multiply this to our multiplier which is 4. It means that we need to make 4 group of 3. Now if we count them all together, we get 12 positive. This means that when we are multiplying two positive integers, our answer will be a positive integer. Now let us try some more. This time, let's try to solve positive 2 times positive 2. Again, let us remember that when we are multiplying two positive integers, our answer would be positive. So let us multiply. Positive 2 times positive 2 is positive 4. Now let's check our answer using our counters. So first we have our multiplicand positive 2. So let us put 2 positives. There you go. And we need to multiply it to positive 2. So let us make 2 groups of 2 positives. There you go. If we count them all together, we get 4 positives. Awesome! Now let's try another one. Now let's try to multiply negative 2 times negative 3. As you can see, we are trying to multiply both negative integers. Before we answer this, let's try to solve this using our counters. We have our multiplicand negative 2. So let us put 2 negatives. And we need to multiply it to negative 3. So we need to make 3 groups of 2 negatives. There you go. Now, one thing that you need to remember, if the multiplier is a negative integer, this means that we need to get the opposite of our counters. The opposite sign of our counters which are negatives are positive. Therefore, our answer is positive 6. There you go. This means that when we are multiplying two negative integers, the answer is a positive integer. Let's try another one. We have here negative 4 times negative 1. Again, when we are multiplying two negative integers, we simply multiply the number and the answer should be a positive integer. So negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Now let's try to check our answer using our counters. Our multiplicand here is negative 4. So let us put 4 negatives. There you go. And we need to multiply it to negative 1. So we need to make one group of 4. 
since this is already a one group of four, let's go to our next step. Remember, our multiplier here is negative. This means that we need to flip over our counters and get its opposite. Since these are all negative, we are going to make this positive. Therefore, our answer is positive 4. Alright, good job! If you have noticed, the product of the two integers with the same sign is always a positive integer, whether they are both negatives or both positives. Now let us try some more. Let's try to multiply integers without using our counters. So first one we have here negative 5 times negative 2. Again, we need to remember that when we are multiplying two integers with the same sign, the answer is a positive integer. So since these are both negative integers, we simply multiply them. 5 times 2 is 10. And they are both negatives, so the answer is positive. Next one, we have negative 8 times negative 4. So let us multiply them. 8 times 4 is 32. And since they have the same sign, the answer is positive. Next one, we have positive 6 times positive 5. So the answer is 30. And since they have the same sign, the answer should be positive. Next one, we have here positive 1 times positive 9. If we multiply them, we get positive 9. Awesome job! Now, let's try a different example. This time, we will try to multiply two integers with different sign. We have positive 2 times negative 2. Let us try to solve this one using our counters first. Our multiplicand here is positive 2. So let us put two positives. And we need to make two groups of two positives. So we have four positives. Again, if our multiplier is a negative integer, we need to flip over our counters and get its opposite sign. So since these are all positive, we are going to make it as negative. Therefore, our answer is 4 negatives or negative 4. As you can observe, when we are multiplying two integers with different sign, the answer is a negative integer. So let's try another example. We have here negative 3 times positive 2. As we learned earlier, if we are multiplying two integers with different sign, the answer would be negative. So let us multiply them. Negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. Now let us check our answer using our counters. Our first factor or multiplicand here is negative 3. So let us put 3 negatives. And then we need to multiply it to 2, so we need to make two groups of 3 negatives. There you go! And since our multiplier is already a positive integer, there's no need for us to flip it over or get its opposite. Therefore, this is already our answer. We have 6 negatives. Now, let us try some more examples without using counters. We have our first one, which is positive 5 times negative 2. Again, we need to remember that when we are multiplying two integers with different sign, the answer must be a negative integer. So let's multiply 5 times 2 is 10. And since they have different sign, the answer is negative 10. Next one, we have negative 7 times positive 4. 7 times 4 is very good. It's 28. And since the factors have different sign, the answer is negative. 
Next one, we have negative 6 times positive 10. 6 times 10 is 60. And since they have different sign, the answer is negative. For our final example, we have here positive 5 times negative 9, which is 45. And again, since they have different sign, the answer must be negative. Wonderful! Good job, students! Now, here are the things that you learned today.